Nice day today. Nope, I had to work all day yesterday, okay. unfortunately, so this is our first expedition out, but um, really glad to have some time to do it. Yeah. You know, just how'd you get started as an artist, what's your background, and all, and where, what you're trying to express, and all that type of stuff. Okay, um, I'm, I guess, been drawing ever since I was a kid, and pretty much just kept doing it, and now I'm at, I went to Southwest Texas, I went to their communication design school, and I do a lot of advertising design, I'm a web designer um, locally at a, a firm here, um, and really, I guess doing the East Austin Studio Tour for the last five, six, maybe even seven years now, kind of has been a way for me to just kind of do something other than design, because it allows me to kind of do something that's loose and free. Because I, I always tell people that when I do graphic design, I can always finesse it and continue to kind of mess with it. And, and there's always something that you can kind of continually do. But with the painting, once it's done, it's kind of loose and free and just, it's done, it's done. So if the lines come out wonky and it, if, it, if something looks weird or off, it's, it's just part of the, the character of how it's going to end up being. Nice. It's, it's, so that's kind of where... I kind of start with things and then kind of just making up characters and really kind of trying to please myself and some of the stuff like headlines or doing scripty things kind of come from doing graphic design and fonts and just loving that kind of stuff and trying to incorporate that with the art and um, textures and really just kind of trying to make myself laugh and kooky characters and stuff like that. Just no real, I don't necessarily consider it art, but I don't want it to be considered like comic strip kind of stuff. So I guess all in all, I just kind of want something that makes me kind of smile and happy in the end. That hopefully, you know, when I share it with other people, and that other people can see, when people start picking up on details then, that, that I put in it for a certain reason, then that's what kind of, that's where the payoff is, I guess, for me. And do you have a website? I do. Um, it's Charlie. My name is Charlie, but it's Charlie. Charlie.com. Charlie.com. Easy enough. That's awesome. That's my name. Don't worry now. Mm -hmm. Get in there. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> nice. Is this for me? Yeah, you can. Awesome, dude. You're perfect for the Christmas tree. <laughs> and then we'll. Grace, yes? Grace. Grace. Oh, yes. that's it. And what are you shooting with? Oh, like, um, what's... Oh, it's a D. Oh, D31. D31. This is a little... Okay, oh. yeah. I, um... That's a challenge. I'll take good photos of my crappy my copy. Yeah. Because no one uses... Yeah, yeah. He, 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 she likes her Canon. Yeah. Uh-huh. All the are the Canon. I have a, uh, Nikon. What I really want is a... Oh, you have a Nikon, too? Yeah, oh, yeah. what I really want is a D700. I'm on a waiting that's list for one. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, you're going to stick with Nikon though. Yeah, I already have the lenses. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not going to start over again. I recommend a Canon to everyone, mm -hmm. but when it came time for me to buy, I want one of Nikon just to be different. No. It was more like all of my best photographers were like using Nikon's, the ones I know. But these are like back in the day, from the 70s, 80s, National Geographic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they have their vanity photos, you know. No one's 
would have their today photos on. But everyone switched to Canon somewhere in the 90s. I had considered, you know, selling and switching. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for somebody to just steal all my stuff so I can uh, <laughs> <laughs> have get the insurance uh, money. Uh, get so all Tell me when to go. <laughs> okay, I shot the uh, fish eyes with this little plastic camera. It's a Lomographic camera, and, and uh, it cost me forty-five dollars. I ordered it from the Freestyle Photo um, catalog, and uh, initially I was just going to play around with it, and I didn't have any uh, vision for what this, what I might end up doing. What happened, and this was interesting, is that you have to shoot on film with this camera, and I hadn't shot on film for a number of years. Or not very much, and I became more concerned with getting a better ratio of good photographs to wasted photographs because you can just delete the digital ones. And so uh, this happened without me really thinking about it, but I just became a lot more careful about each frame, and, and um, I think consequently the images became more formal and more, I would say, contemplative. I became more contemplative and really slowed down. And that was just a consequence that I never would have anticipated. It just happened. And that's a nice thing. Thanks. Do you have a website? I have a web gallery, uh -huh. and it's a carbon-made gallery. Oh, and nice. it's, you know, just to put a few images up there, and I'll no doubt rotate them. So it's um, McAvoyphoto at CarbonMade.com. Awesome. So I was getting up really early in the morning walking. Um, this is what happened. <laughs> and is this your first time in the East Austin Studio Tour? It is. Wonderful. Yes. And how's it been going so far? Um, okay. You know, it's fun to have um, people come by and talk about your work with you because it makes you think about it a little bit more. Yeah. That particular paper, I think, because it has a, a, you know, paint. It looks like watercolor paint. Absolutely. Um, so, and then some of the others are on um, Epson Fine Art. You know, it's a, it's a red paper, perhaps you've used it before. Yeah, totally. That's a nice paper. Oh, no problem. Excuse me. daily. Uh -huh. So wherever I wake up that day, be it a bright day or a sunny day or a rainy day or a cold day, is going to inspire me as to what I'm going to try to create that day. Uh -huh. uh, that sounds very arbitrary, but it works for me. Um, you know, art is, uh, 
is a um, is a daily thing. It's it's something that you struggle with on a daily basis. So inspiration can come from anything. I don't know if that answers your question, but, but. absolutely. And and um, what need or what place does art fulfill in your own life? Oh well, I've always been creative, so uh, that is. Um, you know, it's always been there. You know, it's something that you have to do. It, you know, people that are really passionate about their work, they don't do it for fun, they do it because they have to. And that's where I'm at. I mean, you, you, you just need to do something. You, the inspiration inspires you and you, it takes you over. Absolutely. And uh, is this your first time in the East Austin Studio? No, this will be our, thir our third tour. Nice. This year. Mm -hmm. Bigger and better every year. We got awesome art. Please uh, walk around and yeah, look at it. Absolutely. We're trying to do as much as we can. And yes, yeah. Well, so there's uh, nine wonderful artists here, so there's some really great work. To uh -huh. look at. And do you have a website? I do. Matt Bowman Photo right now. We're working on Matt Bowman Art. We'll be coming out next month. Awesome. screening and we make fine art prints and rock posters and I guess I got into it because of music I really like music so we would do posters for bands that we like and uh, uh, kind of befriend them and stuff like that so now we have like big clients and we do a lot of stuff for a lot of bands but uh, we also like art too obviously so we started doing art prints as well and, like we work for a lot of fun cool people and so it's a good way to make a living. And what, what place do you think art fulfills in your own life? Uh, it just keeps me interested in things. Like, I love, you know, the way things go, like the processes and the, and the way they, you know, all fall together and the way, just the creativity part, you know, keeping it all uh, uh, kind of rolling. So, it's, it's fun. Nice. Do you have Great. a website? Yeah, obsoleteindustries-inc.com. Uh, uh, About this piece? Yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm really interested um, in kind of the intersection of architecture and, and decoration. Um, this piece was uh, really inspired by my time in India. Um, I lived there for about a year, and uh, we, my husband and I lived in an apartment that overlooked the city of Jaipur, and um, I was... Uh, looking at that landscape every day, and um, this painting is kind of a reflection of that, of that time. Um, and so, although there aren't any people in this painting, and India certainly has a lot of people, I think sort of the pattern and the color reflects some of the vibrancy um, that India has. And um, what place do you feel art uh, has in your own life, and what, what does it fulfill in your own life? Um, well, I'm, uh, I'm lucky to be able to be an artist full time, so uh, it's my profession, it's my livelihood, um, yeah. and you know, it's what I'm passionate about, That's so awesome. it's really what I enjoy doing. And do you have a website? Yes, I do have a website, um, erinelizabethcurtis.com. Awesome. India? Yeah. And Jaipur? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, um...
that'd be great. More power about uh, about the idea about why why if has to be the person like eat the first the, the no he can commit the first thing that's that sounds like that not sounds like fair for me absolutely you know what i mean definitely <laughs> so it's hard to believe for me that thing so i just start making more eve and it's like and it's not like uh i don't need to think too much about it i just let myself get the idea from somewhere i don't know from the universe kind of like that you know i just I just understand the situation and then I just let the idea come by themselves. So when I'm going to stop paying Eve, it's when the ideas stop in my brain. You know, that's when I jump to the next thing. Like like sometimes uh, uh, um, I was thinking like when I need to stop to do one thing, one idea. Well, you stop when it's no more. <laughs> you know, you don't need to be, you don't need to, be hard with yourself. You jump to the next thing because that's that's what you're supposed to do. You you follow your conscience. That that's how I paint. Definitely. And but what what place do you think art fulfills in your own personal life? Well, art is the first thing in uh -huh. my in my life. Art is the thing. Uh -huh. I need to be in contact with the art. The art born with me. So you know when they when the. I remember my ex-wife. She say uh, uh, she she don't like it when I say first is art and second is you, and she get really mad. And, and I say, but it's, it's it's you you know stick to me. You know we're not born together and stick. To, you know you know you next to me, but art is inside of me. <laughs> so I'm sorry. You know. <laughs> and how do you feel your Peruvian heritage co comes out and expresses itself through your artwork? It, you know, that's a very, very good question because even I'm very proud I'm Peruvian. In this now, in these days, I just, I just from the from the universe. I, I'm, I'm not even from my dad and my mom. I just from the universe. I, I, if I'm here right now, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Austinite. Austinite, <laughs> does it work? Uh -huh. <laughs> but if I'm Peru, I'm a Peruvian too. But if I'm in Alaska, probably I'm, I'm from Alaska. I'm from anywhere. You know what I mean? This yeah. is what I feel this day. Like, I'm, I'm no part, I'm, I'm no, my nationality is the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Great. And do you have a website? Yes, I have a website. www.absoluteartsamoralarte. That's the Spanish. So, I don't know if you catch that. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's more easy is put Alonso Ray in Google and you get you get something. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you.